Hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa, bringing you another narrated Pokemon Showdown battle, this time in the Aryo tier. As always, um, as you, I've got a new team, as you probably saw, it features Specs Uxie, and I've also got a Specially Defensive Mantine and a Scarfed Hitmonlee, because I thought they were interesting pokes that can work well in the Aryo tier. And Mantine is basically for countering Typhlosion, and it's unique kind of water flying typing is pr like pretty good defensively for a bunch of other things also. But anyway, goes into his Electivire, I go into my Moongus, knowing that even though he has the Ice Punch, which is he is going to go for predicting the switch, I can take two of them, barely, just because Electivire sucks. I mean, what's new here? I mean, come on. Electivire, you've got Life Orb, super effective hits, but you just still can't kill an Amoongus, man. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put him to sleep, and I am going to predict the switch here, because I could easily just finish him off with a Giga Drain or a Sludge Bomb, but he decides to just stay in, which is a little unfortunate, but I know he's going to just keep wanting to go for the Ice Punch, so I'm going to go into my Durant. And this battle, this is actually Banded Durant, and I changed it to the Life Orb Home Claws one after this, because I thought the Banded one would be pretty interesting, but, I mean, the Life Orb Home Claws one is better. It's just because uh, with Life Orb, you basically do a similar amount to Choice Band, and with Home Claws, you just maximize your damage and accuracy. So yeah, go back into my Mantine on the Typhlosion, because I can wall him for days. I mean, how many times would you think you'd hear that something walls Typhlosion for days? I mean, come on. Um, as you see, I do have Surf, but right after this battle, I did switch to Scald, just for instances like that, where I could catch something with the burn on a switch, potentially. It does go for the Stone Edge and Miss, but I don't think that mattered in the end of the battle, just because, uh, yeah, well, you'll see you later. And he's going to kill himself off to Recoil with this Double Edge, as I go for the Psychic, but yeah. Um, he brings in the Aerodactyl, and I want to save my Uxie, because he does have the Nido Queen. And I go into my own, and I was thinking he might just wanted to set up Stealth Rocks and taunt me so I could get a head off and get my own rocks up, maybe. But he just keeps going for the Stone Edge, and that is a 3 at KO, which kind of tells me that he's a banded Aerodactyl. So yeah, I go into my Hitmonlee, and I actually outspeed him in 1 at KO, because Scarf Hitmonlee is actually pretty good, because even though it doesn't have a boosting item because it's Scarfed, uh, it still has Reckless with High Jump Kick, which makes it still pretty powerful, and with a Scarf, it's, I mean, faster than Aerodactyl, so yeah, it's pretty good, I think. Um, now Mantine, up in the Typhlosion again, this is the third time we've seen this matchup, and Mantine is just eating these hits for days, even this Hidden Power Grass, I guess it is. Um, but yeah, he's, I guess he's hit me, like, with five moves now, but that only takes me down to half and, like, 56% after Leftovers, so yeah. Mantine is definitely a beast in RU. Brings in the Nido Queen, and he does unfortunately have the T Bolt, which is going to take me out, and that's a bit unfortunate. But Mantine can actually wall any Nido Queens that don't have T Bolt, which is pretty interesting. Um, I'm going to take him out with my Specs Oxy. Specs Oxy can actually Oko any type of Nido Queen that doesn't have special defense EVs, even at full health, which is mainly why I use it. So, yeah, there's that. Um, he flare blesses me with his Entei, but I'm just going to be able to go right back into my Scarf Tip Molly at speed him and finish him off. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, you can leave a like. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe to my channels, and please let me know what you think of the team. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting. I mean, you don't see Mantine and some of the other sets I'm using in RU too often, but I think they work. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all. On the flip side, see you later.